Hello YouTube, hear ye, hear ye, yep, I'm back. Last time you watched one of my videos, we were talking about, oh, last time a building in Bali, past, pe property, prestige, passion, bitch, okay. I haven't dated anybody since the last video that you seen with the Belgian dude who used two toothbrushes. Still ain't been laid, but guess what? The house is finished. And that's probably why the house finished because I ain't been laid. You know, your girl really been focused on everything. So I'm back. Um, we go back to Bali in three weeks and there's so much to catch you guys up on. So I might as well just go ahead and do that. The camera's shaking. Let me go ahead and set you up. Hold on. run that check please don't watch this on your tv if you're watching it on your tv switch it to your phone i don't need you to see every single pore on my face so let me just get down to the nitty gritty i'm about to tell you guys like everything because this the youtube video you've been wanting to see okay so boom y'all know that i had broke up with akon around my 30th birthday because i was like i'm not entering this bullshit i'm, I'm sorry i cannot enter a unserious ass relationship in my 30s. I'd rather be alone and focus on my career stuff. So I left that shenanigan behind as it needed to do and came to Bali to like have my eat, pray, love moment. Loved it so much, left, came back three weeks later. That's when I met Russian Bay number one. Russian Bay number one, if y'all didn't know, it's in my TikTok dating story times, y'all. He was so broke. He was like, why can't you eat 80 cent street food every day? Because sometimes I want $17 French toast. So if you didn't catch up on that, go back to my TikTok dating series. I'll put it right here. <coughs> Next, we incorporated Russian Bay 2. Russian Bay 2 was in the very last Passion Prestige property that I did. Unfortunately, Russian Bay 2 didn't listen to me. And when you know a little more, cause I was older than him. When you know a little bit more, you're a little bit further along in your career honestly you should be kind of listening to my advice but he didn't listen at all so at one point he had got stranded in thailand now he's in shanghai china i hope he is doing well where are we at manless but the house is done so we go back next month i gotta furnish that i started a non-profit but i started a content boot camp because i'm trying to transition out of only fans I love OnlyFans. I feel like if you make good money on there, there's no reason to hate it unless you're selling your soul and doing stuff that you're uncomfortable with. Everything that I put on there, I'm comfortable with. And I have no problem asserting my boundaries. Please, let's walk and talk real quick. So I have no problem asserting my boundaries, but you know, after a certain amount of time doing something, you really just like grow out of that shit. Like, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna rate your genitalia all day. I wanna do grown up stuff. I wanna talk about house appraisals and like nonprofits and helping people. So it's time to start earning money in other ways. Maybe possibly using my degree, which is in marketing. Okay, I had to bring you guys upstairs. This is like, it's a lot going on. You guys let me know. Somebody said today, this morning, don't you have like a catch all? I've never heard of the word catch all until today. But for now, I guess we're gonna organize these little piles. I thought I was nobody's like PR girly, but all I had to do was say it out loud. And now I'm getting so much PR. Now half of it is from TikTok shop, but still that counts if it's free. That's the point. I got these, oh wait, what's this? This, not this. Hold on, I need to give these away. There's some old Aldo shoes. I got some Hardeen slides. You guys follow Hardeen on all social media. If you like to garden, you know, you know where to go if you in Vegas. But yeah, as I was saying, I was like, oh, I wanna go and move to Bali. Cause it was just so beautiful. The culture, the yada, yada, you know, people get swept up in Bali. This is kind of a thing. So bitch, I got swept up. Look, I even bought myself an extra little, extra little shower head with a filter. Cause if you didn't know the Bali water is, you need this. If you're traveling to Bali, go ahead and visit my Amazon link below in the description so you can get a good water filter. So we're organizing all this PR stuff together. I'm also on TikTok Live right now. If you guys are not following me on TikTok, babe, honestly, you're not even living. You under a rock, cause that's where I am. Unboxing a Japanese stretchy body towel. I've used one of these before, but I got it from Dezo which if y'all didn't know, it's like a Japanese store. This right here, they be saying on TikTok, like, oh, the African 
net sponge. I don't know if this is the African net sponge, but I've used this before in Japan and these are the realest of the real. This right here, this material, I don't know what this material is, but this is it. And it's very stretchy, it lasts a long time, but it just lathers up really good. And it's just the right amount of like scrub, you know, it's not too harsh. Those gloves, you know, those gloves you put on your hands and wash your body, those are too harsh. I feel like I'm scrubbing my the white meat off, you know. So this right here, can't wait to put that in the shower. Look at these cute little socks Banish sent me. I thought maybe I was, you know, take some pictures with the Banish socks, but it'd be little stuff like this that I don't know how to do PR with without making it look like is for my foot fetish people. Step into the world with confidence and then put a foot in their face like this. I don't know how to give that to them. Or maybe that's what I should give to them. Y'all think that's what I should give to them? Because the words are on the bottom of the foot. But like in my industry, the bottom of the foot is like a private part. Let's test your morality. Let's say you went to free people anywhere and you bought a nice dress. And when you got home, the dress actually had this shirt inside of the bag with it. You did not pay for the shirt. The shirt is not even your size. It's a size medium. I'm a size extra small at Free People. So it's not like, you know, I have any personal gain from accidentally receiving this shirt. Would you take the shirt back knowing that this is a year round basic that they could sell because they do? Or give it away to someone who can actually fit the shirt even though it was accidentally given to you. What do you do? Okay, so I wanna just see, just for the hell of it. Maybe I'm just entertaining you guys, but I just wanna know how long I can wear this today. I know you guys know that, like, I know you see it. I know you see it. I know you see this right here. And those in the comments is gonna be like, girl, what the hell, you're making something out of nothing. But half the time people be talking about some. You look three months pregnant. Are you pregnant? I'll be on TikTok live. People be talking about, are you pregnant? How far along? No, then don't try to pump me up now. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm gonna start getting my little uh, Ozempic on. Watch. The moment I get on Ozempic, who's gonna be mad? They're gonna be so mad. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's BBL City now. BBL City, BBL City. Once I get down to this one right here, oh, it's over for everybody. Look, this is the fifth or sixth announcement of my return, but I think my TikTok audience is gonna hold me accountable this time. A lot of times people cannot keep up with YouTube because honestly, they ain't got shit to say for 10, 20, 30 minutes. And I, I, ha I ain't had shit to say since 2020. Let's keep it 100. I ain't had nothing really to say since 2020 for 10, 20 minutes. Now I do. You know, house was being built, your girl trying to transition. I decided that like I'm asexual. I don't really need no man right now. Is that the word for it? If you're not attracted to anybody? Who's that who's that group of people who's not attracted to anybody? But yeah, I don't think I'm attracted to people. I think I'm attracted to just like definitely not inanimate objects, that's for sure. So I got this when I was in Ubu, this was like a going away gift. I must say it was good thinking, but I don't know who thought this would be like the gift. Like I know what to give her. So sometimes in Bali, they will give you a going away gift. They always give you a welcome drink, but they'll give you a going away gift sometimes. You know, I've gotten incense, candles, like really, you know, just cutesy, very demure, very mindful, very considerate going away gifts. This one, I don't quite understand it because it's just a towel, but it looks like a dish rag. So I'm just like not quite sure what you would use this for. Although having a towel when traveling is good, you know? Maybe somebody was like, you should give away towels. And then from that point forward, everybody was like, oh, how mindful, how considerate, how demure. And speaking of throwing stuff away, me and my mom went to go see Wicked in New York last weekend. Here's the program. You know, but why do I still have the program? This is the kind of stuff like, no, go ahead and throw it away because it's not an obituary. Nobody died. Also, are we holding on to people who's died obituaries? Cause are we doing that? What do y'all do? Are we holding on to greeting cards? What do y'all do with all this extra shit? 
this is the stuff I'm talking about that if it's not sentimental, I'm getting rid of it. And this feels not sentimental to me. This is the stuff that I'm talking about, you guys. What the heck do you do with stuff like this? I went to a nonprofit. They had goodie bags. I learned everything I need to know about, you know, uh, small to medium sized fundraisers, which was great. I'm so grateful that that was like a date that someone invited me on because I've never been to a nonprofit event before. But what am I doing with all this stuff? Okay. These stress balls. What is the reason for these stretch, these stress balls? What is the reason? Why do I need a stress ball? This is given very 90s corporate. This is stuff to, to just have stuff. This is consumerism at its finest. This never needed to be made. Millions of dollars are going into making stress balls every single day. For what reason? I don't know. People need more hardcore substances these days to get rid of stress. What is this? This hotel, the Shea Hotel, that's the thing. Cause this is from you, the Shea Hotel and these little, these little things. You guys need to stop making these immediately. Also, whoever's in charge of the Shea Hotel's marketing, you either need to hire me to help you create a strategy so that you can spend money on more meaningful merch or fire whoever's a part of your shit right now. Because this is not meaningful merch. What am I wiping off with this? I can guarantee anything I'd wipe with this, I just would wipe it with my shirt and keep it moving. Next, we have some CeraVe Skin Renewing Eye Cream. Firms, reduces, moisturizes, and helps. I have so many eye creams. I wish I knew which one was the best. Next, what is this? BRX, B Venom Anti-Aging Serum. Okay. Oh, this looks good. Okay, I like this packaging. Okay, yeah, that's the consistency. Oh, I love a good light serum. Yeah, it is very light. It's very light. Okay, not too much of a smell. Very demure. Massage into neck, chest, and face morning and evening. Tightening will begin immediately. Uh-oh, I hope I... Oh, bitch, I actually feel it. Oh! I have two of these. Oh, I'm about to start using this. No, I actually feel it tightening. It's like very, very like subtle. But if this was on my face, I'd probably be able to feel it even more. Okay, yeah. I have so much stuff from my PR that I'm gonna start adding to my skincare. I understand it's, it'd be the PR girlies that have a 15 step skincare routine. And last but not least, we have this. I never understood colors like this in today's day and age, because why? Are we wearing like mauve purples in 2024? This, I'm sorry, it does not fit the clean girl aesthetic. I'm about to swatch it for you guys so y'all can see. Me personally, this is not fitting nobody's clean girl aesthetic. I have to be honest, let's just be real. I'm hoping colors like this come back in style so I don't have to waste four tubes of this. But if any of you guys like this, let me know down in the comments. You know, maybe I'll do a giveaway because I have four tubes of this and this is just not my shade. I can just tell this would make me look like even more of a smoker than I already am. These cool tones, they give smoker lips. This is the best lighting, so I'm gonna just keep it like this for now, but I'm gonna keep it short. I'm coming back to YouTube. My TikTok audience is demanding this of me, so catch me for a vlog. Oh, did I just get a brand deal in my email? Owner of... Yeah, I don't know. Nowadays, you know, they'd be disguising themselves as a brand deal, but really it's a TikTok shop ad. But yeah, you guys, make sure you follow me on everything, including TikTok, Nina does the most. Instagram, vote for Nina, Bobiana the Builder. Um, and you can go on my website for everything else. I'm hosting a social media boot camp. I'll speak about that more. Matter of fact, I'm gonna speak about that shit right now. I'm hosting a boot camp, okay? It's for 30 days. It's two days a week, Mondays and Thursdays. Like we are getting in the class together for two hours a week. And we're gonna build a portfolio and I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to make money on social media, whether it's Instagram, uh, Facebook, TikTok, SEO, Google, metadata, all that stuff. So by the end of the 30 days, there should be no excuse why you do not have at least 16 pieces of content because we got homework. You should be completing the homework. You're gonna come out with a strategy and a portfolio. So use code bootcamp100 for $100 off it's gonna be down in my description bar. Check it out if you wanna know more information. 
But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I cannot wait until I see you in the next YouTube video. I guess we're really doing this. Now let me go wash my hands.